Okay guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you my intense moisture routine for dry curls and my curls have been pretty dry recently. I've been trying a lot of new products and this time I had tried a gel and my hair wasn't feeling the best. So um, first off, I'm gonna start out with this Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. So these two are gonna be the only new products that I'm using in this video. Everything else I've used many times. But I wanted to go ahead and try these out and I really enjoyed them. Um, I don't have too many moisturizing shampoos and conditioners in my collection. And most of my shampoos and conditioners are dandruff based conditioners like conditioners that help with scalp health. But this shampoo worked really, really well. It did a great job at cleansing my scalp without leaving it dry. And I'm obsessed with the smell of this line. It smells amazing. So when I'm trying a new conditioner, I always like to make sure the conditioner has good slip and this one definitely did. So I like to go ahead and finger detangle before I go in and actually detangle with a comb. So I'm gonna need my conditioners to have good slip and this one definitely did not disappoint. So this comb I got from Target like a month ago and I really been enjoying it for my in shower detangling sessions. Um, so if you guys happen to see this comb in Target, I highly recommend it for detangling your hair. It's a really good in shower comb. So after I've worked my conditioner through my hair, I rinse it out and I go ahead and begin to apply my favorite product in the world and that is deep conditioner. And this day I use my Unjackie's Rescued Thirst Quenching Recovery Conditioner. This is one of my favorites for when my hair needs a nice pick me up and my ends are extremely dry. So I chose this one for this video because I know y'all are tired of me using the Shea Moisture mask, but I love the Manuka Honey mask, but this is also one of my faves as well. I highly recommend it, it's amazing. And I double shower capped my hair when I got out of the shower and I decided to use my Silk Line Grace Alea beanie. I love this thing, it's great for deep conditioning. And I also put another beanie over top just to trap the moisture inside of my hair because like I said, this is a intense moisture routine. So I used my handy dandy golden hot blow dryer attachment and I sat under the dryer for 20 minutes. So this is my hair after rinsing out my hair mask. It already feels so much better. So the first leave-in product that I'm going to be using is the Main Choice Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Rinse Out or Leave-In Conditioner. This is one of my favorite conditioners. First of all, the smell is impeccable. But the product is really, really good to prep your hair before you go in and style. This is a great first product to use during your moisture routine. It's one of my favorites. So I just applied this to each side of my head before I went in and did my subsectioning. Um, and I went ahead and used my tangle teaser to brush the product through as a nice prep before styling. You don't want to be detangling and brushing your hair out while you're styling. It just slows down the process. So the second moisturizing product I'm going to be using is another fave of mine. It's the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. Kendra put me onto this a couple of years ago and I've loved it ever since I tried it. So I'm going to be applying that over top of the Main and Choice Leave-In. And I'm not going to section with this. I'm just going to apply it to each section after I go in and brush each section out like I said. So as I'm brushing out the Main and Choice Conditioner, I just top it off with the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. If my hair is getting a little bit dry, I also like to spray some water in it before I go in and apply the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. Um, it just helps the product to absorb into the hair a lot better. And I just clip it right back up because I don't want my hair to dry out before I go in and apply my stylers. Okay, now moving on to the styling portion. So I like to split my hair into either two or three subsections per subsection. I hope that makes sense. So the styler I'm gonna be using is the Camille Rose Fresh Curl Revitalizing Hair Smoother. 
So this is like a gel cream. So if you've ever used a gel cream before, it has like a lighter hold. It's not gonna hold your hair like a regular gel. So if you like extreme hold, you probably won't like this, but I really enjoy this if I just want like moderate hold and I'm just wanting to focus on the moisture of my hair. Cause like I said, my hair was extremely dry <laughs> at the beginning of this video. I'm also trying a new technique. Well, it's new to me cause I used to not do this, but I've been finger coiling lately and I actually have really been liking it. I just used to not do it because it was kind of time consuming and I didn't notice a huge difference before, but I have been noticing a difference when I've been doing it recently and I've been liking it. So that's what I'm doing here as I'm applying the fresh curl to my hair. And it actually didn't take me that long because like I said, my hair was nice and moisturized and detangled makes a world of a difference if you go ahead and get that out of the way before you start styling. So the last styler I'm gonna be using is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. I just wanted to add this for some added hold to my hair just to make sure it wasn't too frizzy or anything once it dried. Um, so I've been really enjoying this mousse. I always prefer air drying and it took like a whole day, but y'all know the routine. And then I just finished off with some of this Anomaly Hair and Scalp Oil and I just applied most of it to my ends. Yeah, this is the result of my hair. My hair was extremely soft, felt so much better. Yeah, I will have a full list of the products that I used in today's video if you guys are interested. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.